It's a newly released autopsy report may now give actually more questions than answers when it comes to the death of 17-year-old Lowndes County High School student Kendrick Johnson. Good evening. I'm Greg Angel. Thank you for joining us. Mika is off tonight. You likely remember this scene on January 11th of this year. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson's body was found inside a rolled-up wrestling mat inside the gym here at Lowndes County High School. Well, subsequent investigation by the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation ruled Johnson's death was an accident. Well, the investigators telling us that Johnson died as a result of positional asphyxia. However, CNN has obtained a newly released autopsy report done by a private pathologist hired by the Johnson family, which found that Johnson died as what's being called, quote, unexplained apparent non-accidental blunt force trauma, end quote. Now, this new report contradicts the initial findings by law enforcement. CNN is reporting that the report has now been passed on to the GBI, the U.S. Department of Justice, the U.S. Attorney's Office, and the Lowndes County Coroner's Office, all of whom are now reviewing the case. The Johnson family now expected to fully release the new autopsy report later this week. Now, here's a full timeline of the event so far. January 11th, students found Johnson's body in the gym at Lowndes High School. May 2nd, investigators say after analyzing DNA samples and interviewing more than 100 people, they found Johnson's death was an accident. June 14th, Johnson's body exhumed for the purpose of having a second autopsy, which was done the following day in Orlando. And September 3rd, that's today, preliminary autopsy reports from that second autopsy was released, contradicting the initial report from investigators. Now, following Johnson's death, the family's held multiple rallies and demonstrations. It's even gained attention nationally and from Reverend Al Sharpton, who's traveled to Valdosta for one of those rallies. Family is expected to again release that full autopsy report later this week. And for continuing in-depth coverage of the Kendrick Johnson case, check out the homepage of our website, WTXL.TV. Other news tonight.